Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Omar, and today we'll create this exercise in SolidWorks. This will be practice exercise 18, and we'll use this drawing to create this part. And I will provide its link so you can download it from there. And in this exercise, we will use some advanced commands like reference plane, loft, shell command, combine command, etc. So let's go to here SolidWorks, and let's go to here new select part and select ok so now we are in solidworks interface so first of all as usual i will change my background to plain white and i will set my units to mmgs and uh, just drag it to here ok let's go to here sketch tab and uh, let's go to here drawing let's say i will close this drawing that i have already created Let's go to this drawing and uh, first I will create this base part and uh, you can see that uh, we have a circle here having diameter of 180. So let's create it in the top plane. Let's go to the SOLIDWORKS and I will select top plane, select the sketch. I will select this uh, circle command and I will make one uh, circle having diameter of 180 millimeters. So I will change it to 180. Uh, now let's uh, drag this to let's say here so that we can have more space and let's go to this drawing and uh, first i will create uh, two lines and then one slot and then we will dimension it later so let's go to your solidworks and uh, uh, let's go to your line select this one and i will create one line here now i will go back to this line again so that this line could be converted into an arc okay and let's create uh, one line here and this line would be vertical and let's select this one this one and these will be tangent uh, now i will create one center line here and i will select this line hold shift this line and this center line and i will uh, give them a relation called symmetry okay uh, now i will create a slot here let's go to your slot straight slot and I will uh, draw one straight slot here. Let's drag this slot to this point and now I will dimension these. Let's go to here this drawing and here you can see that the center to center distance uh, in this slot is 40 and uh, this radius, this small slot radius is 20 and uh, this radius is 40, this bigger one. Okay, so let's dimension this. Let's go to the solid box and first I will dimension these points and this is 40 i will change it to 40 uh, similarly this radius is 20 and uh, this radius is 40. Uh, it is still underdefined so let's go to this drawing and now you can see that uh, we have a construction circle here and uh, this uh, diameter is 150 okay r 150 means that the diameter is 300 so i will create one circle here Let's go to your circle command and I will make one bigger circle here. Okay, let's go to your smart dimension and I will dimension it as 300 millimeters. I will convert this circle to construction because it is not part of our geometry. And uh, this construction circle is uh, coincident with this uh, slot. Okay, this center of the slot is coincident with this circle. So let's go to your SOLIDWORKS and uh, I will select this point, hold shift, I will select this one and I will make them coincident. Now you can see that this slot is fully defined and I can make a pattern. We have uh, three number of patterns here. So let's go to your uh, linear pattern drop down and I will go to your circular sketch pattern. And uh, the command to be pattern is this one and uh, this one, this one and this slot. And uh, we need uh, three number of instances and uh, uh, 360 uh, equal spacing, in, uh, uh, it means that 120 these uh, uh, patterns are 120 degree apart. You can see that they are 120 degree apart. And I will select OK. Uh, we have to trim some portion and uh, let's go to the trim command and basically we have to trim this portion. OK, this portion and similarly this portion and this portion so that i can extrude 
uh, let's go to your features extruded boss and before extruding i go to my drawing and uh, here you can see that this uh, extrusion uh, is 15 mm okay you can see here okay so let's go to your solid works and i will change this extrusion to 15 mm and uh, it is going upward okay you can see that it is going upward and sec okay uh, next is uh, I will create uh, these circles here and I will extrude cut uh, also we have one uh, cut extrusion here so let's go to here uh, SOLIDWORKS and uh, I will select this face sketch view normal and uh, I will uh, make one circle here one bigger circle this will be uh, a PCD so I will change this to construction geometry because it is not part of our geometry and uh, this PCD is uh, let's say 160 you can see that this arrow and we need the eight number of circles here having diameter of 10 okay so let's go to the solidworks first i will change this circle to 160 and uh, also uh, i will sketch uh, one circle here so let's go to the solidworks and uh, let's create one circle here on this uh, center point and let's go to a smart dimension and I will dimension it as 10 mm. And we need 8 number of instances with equal spacing. So let's go to your uh, circular sketch pattern. And the command to be patterned is this one. And we need 8 number of instances. Okay. And select OK. Uh, let's go to your features, extruded cut. And uh, I will cut them through all. And uh, uh, next is uh, we need uh, another cut extrusion here and this time this radius is R65. You can see that this one is R65 which means that we need a circle here having diameter of 130. We need this cut extrusion. So let's go to here uh, SOLIDWORKS, select this face, sketch, uh, view normal and go to your circular command. I will sketch one circle here. And this time this diameter would be 130 okay let's go to your features extruded cut and i will cut them through all so uh, this base part is done and uh, uh, it is a very tricky uh, exercise you can see this part uh, we will create this part using loft surface or uh, solid loft and uh, uh, we will create this part later first i will create this upper part i will use loft command to loft this part with this part okay so first i will create this upper part and this upper part is 150 from this bottom side so i will create a reference plane and i will create this part this top part so let's go to your solidworks and uh, let's go to your reference plane select plane and for the first uh, reference i will select this face and uh, i will flip this side and i will change it to 150 okay it is already 150 because i have just created this uh, exercise so let's select okay and now i will create my geometry on this plane so let's hide it first and i will select this one sketch and view normal okay uh, so let's create it let's go to here my drawing and uh, first i will sketch two circles here one circle uh, diameter is 130 and one circle diameter is 100 this is the outer one this is the inner one so let's make two circles here one bigger circle and one smaller circle and uh, this one is let's say 130 and uh, this one is let's say 100 uh, now i will uh, let's hide the first body okay uh, now i will create uh, two center lines uh, next is uh, uh, we will create uh, this arc you can see here uh, 4 multiplied by r11 so we will create uh, uh, these circles here basically and we will trim this uh, uh, unnecessary part and then we will create this circle 4 into 10 so first uh, uh, you can see that uh, these circles or these arcs are 86 millimeters apart so i will uh, make them using uh, this command this point command so i will create make four points here and uh, i will select this point this point horizontal 
similarly this point is point vertical and this point this point vertical and these two points will be horizontal okay so i'll go to a smart dimension this dimension is 86 and uh, this dimension sorry this dimension is also 86 and uh, uh, next is uh, i will create one center line here and i will create uh, one center line here let's make one point here and i will select this point and i will select this point and make them coincident uh, you can see that now these points are fully defined so i will use these points as reference points for creating these so first I will create a circle here having a diameter of 22 because R11 means that its diameter would be twice. So let's go to here SOLIDWORKS and let's go to a circle, a circle command and I will make one circle here having diameter of uh, 22. And I will delete this unnecessary portion that we don't want. This one, this one and this little one. Let's go to a smart dimension and I will dimension it as 11. And now you can see that it is 11 because it is not a full uh, circle. Uh, I'll go to a mirror command and uh, I will use this one. Mirror about is this one and select OK. Similarly, this one, go to mirror command, mirror about is the center line and select OK. Now I will de delete the unnecessary portion. So I'll go to a trim command. I will trim this one and uh, this one and this one so now you can see that uh, these four these four patterns are created now i will create the small uh, smaller circles here and uh, the diameter is 10 and the instances are 4 so let's go to a solid box let's go to a circle command again and uh, i'll go to a smart dimension and i will change it to 10 and uh, let's go to a mirror command select this one mirror about this one select ok similarly i will select this one hold shift select this one i'll go to a mirror command mirror about this time this line sorry let's delete this one mirror about this line and select ok now you can see that uh, the upper portion is generated and uh, the depth of extrusion is 20 so i'll go to your features extruded boss and i will extrude it in the downward direction 10 mm. okay i think it is 10 i'm oh, sorry it is 20 i will change it to 20. so now you can see that this upper portion is uh, created and now i can unhide this part and now basically we have to uh, create a loft surface between these two and this loft uh, depth is 5 mm that is this thickness is 5 and we will create uh, using loft command so here uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, a circle here having diameter of uh, r30 this one and uh, i will use offset command to offset this uh, circle and similarly i will use uh, 5 mm offset of this r30 so that i can create loft so i'll go to a solid box and uh, i will select this face select sketch first i will convert this circle i will use convert entities now i will go to the offset and i will offset it to 5 mm uh, you can see that uh, this depth is 5 so this circle would be 5 mm uh, and i will create a solid loft here and select ok uh, similarly uh, i'll go to this one select a sketch and first i will convert this circle and i'll go to offset select this one offset to 5 and select ok and now i will create a loft between this one and this one these outer ones okay then i will use shell command uh, to create the uh, thickness so let's exit this one and uh, let's go to here solid loft and uh, i will select this one okay similarly this one now i'll go to here and i will drag this point to here
set okay now you can see that a solid revolve uh, a solid loft is generated but we don't want a solid loft here you can see in the section view a solid loft is created but we don't want a solid loft here uh, we uh, we need a loft having a thickness of 5 so let's go to here solidworks and i will use shell command for this and let's change it to 5 mm and i will select this face similarly i will select this face and select okay uh, now you can see that nothing is uh, uh, generated because uh, we have used loft with the merge entities so i'll go to the loft and i will uncheck this box merge entities and select ok now you can see that this loft command is uh, created and uh, we have a, a see through hole with loft uh, uh, having a thickness of 5 now i can check this part that we have just created it is correct or not so first i will use this one section view and select ok so uh, you can see that this loft is uh, created and uh, first i can check this thickness i'll go to evaluate measure and i will select this edge and this edge now you can see that this edge distance is 5 mm uh, similarly i can check uh, the overall height of this part this is 150 so i'll go to the solidworks and i'll go to a measure i will select this top uh, this top face and this bottom face and you can see that this distance is 150 okay uh, similarly uh, let's say i can check uh, uh, this thickness, this thickness is 20. So I'll go to a SolidWorks and uh, I'll go to a uh, measure. I will select this face and this face. And now you can see that this distance is 20. Uh, similarly, let's say I can check uh, uh, this thickness. This thickness could be, let's say, 15. So let's go to here. Uh, let's first clear these sections and uh, I will select this face and this face. And now you can see that it is 15. I think it is 15. Yes, it is 15. Uh, here you can see that we have three uh, solid bodies. And uh, let's say I want to combine these uh, uh, three bodies to one solid body. And here you can see that we have one solid body on this bottom. And we have one solid body on this top. And we have one uh, solid body uh, uh, here. Okay. So we have three solid bodies. And uh, let's say I want to combine these bodies. So I'll go to here, uh, insert features and i'll go to a combine first i will combine these two parts so i will select this one and this one and show preview and select okay so these two solid bodies are combined and now i can combine these two with this bottom part okay so let's go to here uh, insert features and combine and now i can select this solid body that we have just combined with this one show preview and select okay so uh, you can see that these three solid bodies are combined to uh, generate one solid body uh, let's go to here appearance and uh, let's drag this to here and let's say i want to apply appearance uh, of uh, maybe uh, steel and under steel let's say dust steel so you can see that this uh, appearance is applied to this uh, part so uh, uh, that's it for uh, uh, today's tutorial uh, i hope you like it and if you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.